Hey, welcome to Dunk Watch. So in this video I'm going to make myself a third hand which is a tool uh, welders commonly use um, to hold a workpiece. I've already gone through my scrap bin and I've chosen some parts that I'm uh, planning to use uh, for the build. Commonly when people make these uh, third hand tools they you know, get effectively two legs, um, a, a, some kind of mass, something heavy uh, to apply some weight and then like a, you know, a bent prong at the, at the end which um, sits on your workpiece. Um, I thought, you know, that'd be fine, be functional, probably be pretty easy to make. I want to, you know, have a bit more fun with it, um, try and make something with a bit of character. So I'm going to make something that is functional as a third hand tool, but looks a bit like a robot. So that's where I'm going with this. Yeah, I'm going to uh, work on the head, try and get that because I know, I know I'm going to use this as kind of the nose sticking out um, like that and a couple of little eyes. So yeah, I'm going to do that now and then come back to the body afterwards. So the head was originally like a big deadbolt from a door uh, and this is the, uh, that threads into the bottom of there. I'm going to cut the end of that off so that can cl get clamped in the uh, in the chuck. Yeah, so I cut the shaft, threw it into the head. Uh, that's in there. This will be the um, the actual. So this is going to be the nose of the robot. It's uh, actually going to be the piece that contacts the workpiece. And then I've got some small ball bearings. I'm going to try and weld them as eyes. We'll do that in a minute. I've got this cap, and then I might just do the legs. Uh, straight off of off of that. I've given up on the idea of keeping the chuck uh, functional. Um, I'm just going to weld. I'm going to weld these bearing races to it, and I think that's just going to give a nice sized body. And then I've got some arms. I've you know, I'm gonna need to weld them together, and I'll use the bearings as hands. So yeah, it's going to be something like that.
So, uh, as you can see, he's finished. Um, he's doing his job. I think I'm going to have to think of a name for this, look like. Um, so, the idea of the third hand is to do what this guy's doing, is to basically hold your workpiece um, when you're not available or not able to. So, to hold this like this would be really tricky. I'm going to got these two pieces of scrap here. I'm going to run a beater weld and see how he does. So uh, there we go, all finished. Gave him a wire brush, um, just took off some of the soot spots and a uh, bit of the surface rust. There we go, it was a, I really enjoyed this one. Uh, this was a really fun build. Um, it's functional and I think it looks pretty cool. So um, hopefully you liked it too. Um, and uh, yeah, if, if you did, Go click the like button, leave a comment. Um, I do like to read the comments, uh, any constructive criticism or any ideas. Yeah, if you've got, if you can think of any fabrication tools that I can make myself, um, I'd really like to hear about them. Uh, so go and leave a comment. And um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.